Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, uh, one stop stop to learn all the technologies. Uh, in this video, we will continue um, uh, exploring the deploying uh, options, uh, deployment options in uh, Cloud Foundry, especially using Pivotal Web Services. So, so far we have, uh, 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 we have created a PHP based application, uh, which is called as PHP Demo ITV. Okay. And now we will see how we can actually uh, scale up or scale down uh, either horizontally or vertically. So vertical scaling is um, nothing but scale up where we can actually increase the capacity such as memory, uh, disk storage, etc. If you want to scale out, you have to increase the number of instances. So you have two options, either you can increase the memory uh, so at max we can have up to 2 GB and these are the default configurations. So you can use uh, uh, one of these configurations. In this case I want to scale down um, the memory uh, uh, and then I want to have multiple uh, uh, multiple containers to support the application. So I am increasing to 4 and save it. So I will have 4 containers and each container with 128 MB RAM. Once we create, uh, once we click on save, now you can see that it has stopped the application that was running, uh, which, which is running on 256 MB container. Now you can see that it is trying to start four containers. Uh, it will take little time to bring up all those things. Once it is up and running, you can click on this and these requests that are uh, uh, going through this, which is called as route, can go to any of the containers and uh, uh, and then you will be able to support the application with uh, uh, scale by scaling up um, for more users concurrently okay again you have to look at the logs if you want you can uh, uh, run from here cf logs um, php demo itv recent and hit enter you will see the logs here and also uh, let's see whether it is all up and running yeah uh, you can see there is memory used for each of the containers and uh, everything seems to be running and also we have tested it by clicking on the uh, on this link which take us to this one so we have actually scaled down uh, uh, on the memory and then we have scaled out by increasing the number of instances so you can either decrease them or increase them there is uh, you can do both uh, um, uh, scaling down and scaling up or scaling in or scaling out by decreasing or increasing the uh, instances, number of instances. Okay, you can see in the logs here, everything looks good. There are four containers created successfully. And uh, also you can say CF, SSH, uh, PHP, Demo, ITV. And it will take you to uh, take you into the container. Also, you can see the recent logs by clicking on the logs at the bottom. And uh, these are the routes which are uh, pointing to this application. And uh, this is what we uh, we are actually using uh, to access this web application. And also, you can click on uh, view in Pivotal APM to see the metrics of what is going on here. So when you run CFSSH, it will take you to the uh, first container. In this case, the first container is on uh, uh, the whole, um, uh, is, represented, is represented by this ID. If you want to log into the different containers, you can say exit and then CFSSH, PHP, demo, ITV, and then minus I, you can give one, two, three, or four. We have four instances. So I think uh, it's zero, one, two, three. So by using minus i uh, one, it will take you another container. It will take you to the other container. Similarly, if you do exit and, uh, and um, type two, in this case, it will take you to the third container. Zero or default will be the first one. So this is the first container. This is the second container. This is third container. Similarly, there will be fourth container also. And once you log in, you can actually type top and hit enter. 
and you can see what is the uh, memory that is allocated uh, to this. It, these are all uh, uh, virtual uh, machines, so the the memory might not represent the exact memory what we we are saying at the container level. In this case, if you can see, it is I think uh, 32 GB here. Not sure completely from where this uh, 32 GB came into picture uh, and this is kilobytes so yeah it could be 32 GB only like this you can access you can go uh, go into the container and see what's going on in there so that is how you can scale up uh, 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 scale out scale in scale uh, scale down whatever you want to do you can uh, use these 2 GB resources for running uh, multiple applications uh, for two months for free uh, and you can also have a uh, multi-container based application as well which is nothing but uh, scaling uh, scaled out application where multiple containers will be supporting your application so so far we have only seen a static single page web application uh, going forward we have to understand so many things like how to connect to the database uh, whether we can have the database in the container itself you need to understand all those things as well and we will talk about most of the important concepts going forward and i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about cloud uh, virtualization and, in, uh, and infrastructure you can join my linkedin group called itversity uh, cloud and virtualization infrastructure and uh, you can bring up discussions here if you know, we can talk about anything related to cloud virtualization and infrastructure and if you have any technical questions related to cloud foundry i will recommend you to go to stack overflow and raise the questions so that people who are uh, already familiar with cloud foundry can provide you immediate support and finally if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye